been able to study abroad for two years at Grand Valley. It's something many people don't really consider, like that other opinions come out of these communities and like interacting with other cultures. It challenges what you believe, but it also challenges you to think differently. As a student who now is studying abroad, when I write on my medical school application, I've studied abroad in Spain. I've you know, learned another language. That will certainly kind of set me apart. I am adventurous, but I always have hesitation. Of course, the minute before I boarded the plane, I had that moment of, what am I doing? But those are the moments you know the most. Generally, you need to do it. And I think college is the time to do something like this. Once you study abroad, you start to realize that there is a much bigger world out there and that we have the opportunity to experience it. I get to be intermixed in a bunch of different classrooms, math, science, Swahili, um, which I'm not very great at, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And we also do fun things on the weekends too, like we climbed Mount Kilimanjaro, and we went on a safari, which was awesome. It really let me know that I was going down the right path, that I wanted to be in the classroom teaching, and I think that was something I'll always take from this experience. I've definitely become more flexible. I've become more, you know, quick on my feet. And I think that those new skills will kind of go back home with me and make my daily life a little bit more comfortable. Getting to come here with a professor who's been here and with classmates made it really approachable. We're going to be doing an archaeological dig over an old Bronze Age city. So we just hiked up to the top of Masada and got to see the old uh, structure up there and the Roman battlements around it. Right now we're at the Dead Sea, which is the lowest point on Earth, and I'm covered in the mud from the Dead Sea because it's really exfoliating. I'm a non-traditional student. I went to college right after high school, but then I decided to join the military. I'm going to, you know, get credit for classwork and also do something that I've wanted to do for so many years. You meet different people, completely different than America. They joke differently, they talk differently, like you gain very good friendships. It opens a whole different window of opportunities. I actually go out and meet people. Now I, I talk to random strangers. It kind of forces me to get out of my comfort zone, which is, a, which is a good thing. It's, yeah, a great opportunity in order to enhance your major, enhance your worldview, interact with different cultures, and just see what the world is like. I've never even left the country. This was my first time, and I've learned so much about the culture and the people. I would not be able to learn this from reading in a textbook. There's always opportunities to get funding. You can use your financial aid to study abroad. You can get so many scholarships. You can do it. it just go for it. It's always a little nerve-wracking to go to a new country because you never know how somebody's going to interpret your skin color but I would just advise other people to be comfortable within themselves and the experiences, you'll, you may never get them again. So it's definitely worth it to just go. As a Laker, it's our job to experience what we can um, that's out of our comfort zone and get a feel for what other people are doing and res have a respect for them as well. This is been an incredible experience, not just for my resume, but just like life lessons that you learn here. Everything, just kind of, it's a mental shift when you study abroad. I feel like if we had been born to stay in one spot, we would have been born with roots and not feet. I feel developed, like, I don't know if this is how every student should feel when they're leaving college, so I definitely feel prepared, prepared to tackle the world, honestly.